So, um, if everyone can hear me, uh, I'm going to be talking about the catalogue. Uh, my name is Keith Jeffrey, and uh, with my co uh, convener of the work on the catalogue, Daniel Bailo, uh, we've been able to convene a, a group of people, a task force, uh, across both the IT partners and also the subdomain or RI partners uh, within um, the overall ENRI system. So our main objective with the catalog was to agree and implement a metadata catalog schema and the associated management services. And we decided that the catalog access should be machine readable and actionable, which means that you can have autonomic access to the catalog to allow its integration within, for example, scientific workflows. The goals within ENVRI are to describe and thus provide access to the ENVRI assets in a fair way, where the assets are things like uh, data sets, data products, basic software modules, workflows, and services. And I emphasize services because the um, evolving EOSC catalog uh, ideas started with and concentrated on services and there are many advantages in providing access through services to the assets of the Envry RIs. So we wanted to provide access to the assets and prepare for ingestion into the EOSC catalog. So what have we managed to achieve? Well, we've mapped the heterogeneity across all the RIs in Envry, which is extreme to say the least. This was a landscaping exercise and we have a map of all the current use cases and the practice survey. We've been doing training, bridging the gaps, tutorial on how to build a service catalog because some RIs had only a data set catalog and also on how to use EPOS DCAT AP which is an extended version, this extended application profile of DCAT used within the EPOS RI. Uh, and we've organized hands-on sessions and indeed there are more coming uh, to help people to translate from their existing metadata standards used in their RI to EPOS DCAT AP, as we've already done for 17 different metadata standards within the EPOS uh, solid earth domain. The third aspect of our progress is convergence on an agreed solution. Uh, so we're going to convert local RI metadata to EPOS DCAT AP and everyone's agreed that. And then we can either harvest by pulling or upload from the RI by pushing to the Envry Hub catalog. Just to give you an idea of the scale of the problem, what is in silver on this diagram is standard DCAT. And what is in gold is the extension of DCAT for EPOS DCAT AP. So to get rich enough metadata to do useful things, it's very necessary to make a very heavy extension to DCAT. So what have we managed to do? Uh, well, uh, this shows uh, a blue and a green representation of two different RIs. They have data, they have metadata, um, they have web APIs, and they usually also have portals. And what we have to do is get the heterogeneous metadata information describing the assets into a homogeneous format for consistent cross-domain querying in the orange colored catalog. And down the left, you can see some of the technologies that have been involved in doing this. This is quite like a, a picture that uh, was shown by Andreas. Um, so the key part of this is the bottom layer where my cursor is now are the uh, different RIs with their data and metadata and services and so on. We convert through DCAT AP into the Envry Hub, which as you heard already has a knowledge base, has a catalog system and has use cases. And from the rich catalog metadata, we can then export to wherever necessary in a variety of metadata formats suitable for the target where this information is required, who can either receive it by push or of course can themselves query the catalog either through the knowledge base user interface or by the API 
and gain the information for their own purposes. So to conclude the work of uh, the catalog group, um, first of all, we have a much improved understanding among the NVRIs of the issues in providing a homogeneous integrated catalog, the issues in metadata conversion, which are many, uh, and we don't have space or time to go into them here, but this was discussed a lot in the main RDA conference in the metadata interest group session. The service concept, some RIs hadn't been used to the service concept um, in, in cataloging. And so we, we did a lot of work on that. And mapping to and from the service catalog for EOSC, uh, we've been uh, in the group continuously mapping as the specification for the EOSC catalog has evolved. We now have a roadmap for achieving an integrated cross-domain access over for the FAIR assets across all the RIs in Envry. We're using a rich canonical metadata catalog, Serif, conversion from local metadata through to Serif using DCAT AP and interoperation with EOSC via the catalog. However, this is a big vision, requires an awful lot of work. It takes a lot of time to get the RIs properly aligned, all the conversions done, because of course the RIs themselves are also evolving. And on the other side of the Envry hub, EOSC is continuously evolving. So it's a very dynamic situation. So as a kind of insurance policy, uh, we're having a short-term expedient implemented within the scope of the Envry Fair project rather than the whole Envry enterprise. This is to ensure that we produce a prototype. We use CCAN as the portal software because it's open, available, quick, and easy to use. We'll uh, try to map the EPOS DCAT AP metadata into that structure. Um, and of, as now, the RIs will be converting from their local metadata standards into EPOS DCAT AP for moving on into the CCAN structure. And from this base, it is, as it were, a, a point, a milestone on the road to the full catalog implementation with all